Hey everybody, how's it going? It's Richard Unicorn Caller here. Just giving you another video. Um, this time we're going to talk about a little Mac OS. A lot of people have been having a lot of issues with that. Um, but before we just get into that, I just want to go into the history of Mac and uh, just everything that's happened so far. So if you're new to the game or if you're a returning player, if you just don't remember, um, Wizard 101 has always had issues with Mac. Like every time there was an update or something wouldn't happen or something wouldn't be supported, especially especially with Catalina um, and now Big Sur especially is now kind of having some compatibility issues with the game. Now this first came out or this recently just came out with the 64-bit update um, if you don't know that Wizard 101 recently just went 64-bit so you might know there's some um, great improvements maybe faster load times I believe or just a better performance overall than 32-bit and now 32-bit is kind of not really supported now on their page that does the system requirements it did say that Windows 7 is supported and they did say that Big Sur is also also supported and you know what I'm actually gonna pull this up real quick just because I know a lot of people have um, always had questions or about this or I just want to show you guys from hand to hand on what the system requirements actually are in order to actually run Wizard 101 or at least not see the most compatibility issues and I'm gonna show you all the system requirements this includes maybe recommended graphic cards and what type of space you'll need and all that stuff and I'm also gonna talk about basically how this might or any solutions that might help you and I'm sure that's like the main thing that everybody's wanting to get into but first off I'm gonna show you guys the actual system requirements how do I do I just zoom in or let me see if I can open it. Okay, there we go. Okay, here we go. I'm going to switch windows, and we're going to look at this together. Because I understand everybody's getting a little frustrated. I totally understand that, and I honestly respect that. Uh, okay, here we go. So, this is the system requirements for Wizard 101. So, this is for Windows users. Recommended OS, Windows 10, 64-bit. Now, the 32-bit installations will no longer run the game. Alright, so if you still have a 32-bit type of laptop from the 1700s that your great-great-great-grandma gave to you, um, sadly, I don't think that will be supported anymore. Now, it may run on Windows 7, 64-bit or newer. However, these are no longer supported by Microsoft. Now, the internet you'll need is high-speed connection, yada, 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 satellite or tethered, not suitable. Um, RAM space, now this is important, 8 gigabytes plus, now that's recommended, 4 gigabytes of RAM space is supported. Now, the disk space available is also important, 30 gigabytes recommended, 14 gigabytes gigabytes supported. Now the recommended graphics are a dedicated AMD or NVIDIA graphics card. Now what is supported is Intel integrated requires additional 1 to 2 gigabytes of RAM assuming that it's 1024 by 768 resolution so make sure your graphics drivers are up to date. Now that is for the Windows. Now let's talk about Mac which are the main uh, points. Basically for Mac, you're going to want to go with the Big Sur update, right? Um, we went over this with Catalina. Catalina just doesn't work anymore, so you definitely want to update to Big Sur. Again, with high speed, the same thing. 8 gigabytes recommended, 4 gigabytes um, supported, 32 gigabytes recommended, 16 gigabytes supported, and 2 button mouse, same thing as last time. So here is the problem with this. A lot of people are having some issues even with a big serious software type of MacBook and that is actually where we're going to go into some of the solutions or some of the things that can actually help you at least have some accessibility with Wizard 101. So first thing you would want to do and this is what they actually recommend is obviously uninstall the game completely just wipe it away from your system you want to make sure that you get rid of all the files it is very important that you get rid of all the files so you can have a very fresh installation of the latest Wizard 101 update. 
Now, that is important that you get rid of all the files, just because, like I said, you want to get a fresh installation of everything. Now, again, this has done work. I've seen everybody said that it doesn't work. I've uninstalled multiple times. You've probably have done that, too. And I don't know how this worked, and I don't know who found the solution or how this even happened. But I was talking to one of my viewers. I was texting all day on Twitter, trying to be um, Wizard101's little mini tech support, unhired, unpaid, obviously. But um, I wanted to try and help people out even though I don't even have a Mac myself I have a regular Windows laptop um, but I wanted to try and help people and from one of the solutions I saw from one of the people they said that actually making a new profile actually allowed them to have access to the game now I have no idea why that works I'm not sure what's the technology behind that um, but apparently if you do change your profiles um, in and and install the game you know install it Apparently, it will let you play. Something about the certain profile that you're on initially just doesn't allow you to play. I'm not even sure, but I already had two people confirm that it works now. They just had to make it like a new temporary profile. Now, if you need help, um, I went online to find a guide for that, and I'll leave that linked below. But basically, you just want to go in your settings, go to your account settings, and then I believe you can make a new account or make a new profile. You would make a new profile, and you can even make ones that are administrative too that basically get to do everything right so you would make a new user or something like that download the game and hopefully that will allow you to have access to the game in general and hopefully that works now again this isn't just happening for mac users surprisingly this is also happening for windows 7's i believe like 36 like render or something like that like reader um i'm not too sure on that but i know a lot of people are also having some compatibility issues with windows 7. now you're probably wondering well have we ever even gotten a statement from them king's iso themselves and at the moment um, they said that they are working hard all right they are working hard to try and figure out a way to uh fix this 64-bit update and again i kind of you know honestly i kind of knew this was going to happen in the beginning because when i heard 64-bit i was like wow i didn't even know like wizard 101 was even like running 32-bit and i honestly didn't even know much about 32-bit and 64-bit all you need to know that 64-bit just runs better it's just performance wise better than 32-bit but to believe that it's been like 11 years like i've been playing this game and like it's been in 32-bit this whole time it's like that's crazy because this game came out in 2008 it's always kind of been made to always support some of the like potato laptops you know but now to see that it's going to run 64-bit and seeing everybody have compatibility issues with it, it's kind of interesting how things go. But I know they're trying to be innovative. I like that. But I think instead of wanting this game, because I know a lot of people want this game um, on the phones, on the Nintendo Switch, on the PlayStation, how about we first worry about getting this on the PC first, all right? Let's focus on that, and then we'll talk about console ports and mobile phone ports for some odd reason people want to do that. But, again, we just got to wait and see. Now, that, again, they made the statement. They said, you know, try reinstalling it, making a fresh installation, and they're working hard on it. I'm going to keep you guys updated on this because I know a lot of you guys do have MacBooks and, you know, stuff like that. You want to play the game, you know, especially if you have a membership running. So I'm going to keep you guys updated. Make sure you follow my social medias, not just for clout, but just as notifications in general. And make sure you're also following their own official game sites like uh, Twitter and Facebook and stuff like that. So you can also stay notified on if they released a patch or a statement regarding this mac os and just overall compatibility issues with um windows 60 or, or just not windows 64 bit basically 64 bit and honestly honestly what they should do is go back to 32 bit like roll back the update if, if that's even possible but i feel like they should just roll back the update and just like do 32 bit obviously they can keep all the spells and stuff like that but i feel like they should like roll it back to 32 bit because it doesn't look like they have like a firm grasp of the 64 bit technology for other types of softwares and stuff like that so again i will keep you guys updated on whatever happens i had people comment like messaging me back and forth everywhere 
Uh, I'm not tech support, but I will try my best to try and help you guys out. Main thing to take away from this video, fresh installation, change your profiles to a new one, like a temporary one, and make sure to comment below if you do have any questions, alright, I know this is, this is happening all over the place, right, so I will keep you guys updated, see you guys later, and hope you guys are having a good spring, peace out, I'll see you guys next time.